Hey, today I'm gonna educate you on one of the ugliest but best food sources for any river bass. I'm gonna show you a new product release, tell you how to fish it, show you my three favorite ways to rig it. And you're not gonna believe what a thunderstorm has to do with all of it. Yum just came out with a brand new soft plastic Helgramite. This thing is incredibly lifelike. It comes in a ton of natural colors, but it also comes in vibrant reactionary strike colors as well. These are LureNet exclusives. They can only be found on LureNet.com. Now, let me get into this Helgramite. The scariest looking insect I've ever come across on the riverbank has to be the Helgramite. So why is it such a great food source for bass? Well, it's actually a giant protein bomb. Just like the goby is to Great Lakes smallmouth, it's soft raid, easy for them to swallow, full of protein. Very similar to the giant bass producing trout lakes of California, where the trout are also soft raid, easy for the bass to swallow. So what is a Helgramite? A Helgramite is the larva stage of the Dobson fly. Here's the Dobson fly, they're big. Look at, this is a life-size replica of the Dobson fly. They're very large animals. The Dobson fly will lay its eggs on objects that hang over the river, like bridges, tree limbs, rocks. The eggs are like a fluffy white. They look like a half a cotton ball, basically. The larvae hatch from the eggs and fall into the river. That's where they're gonna spend the next three to five years of their life, is in that river, constantly eating, constantly growing. A Helgramite averages two to four inches, and in a lot of instances, they're bigger than four inches. So let's break this animal down. The body basically is three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So when we look at the head of the Helgramite, it has very strong pinchers on it, and it'll give you quite a bite. They'll also have the ability to draw blood, but don't worry because they're not poisonous. The thorax section I have in yellow here, the thorax has six legs, three on each side. Now the abdomen, this is the juicy part of the bug. It's soft, bulbous. It has 16 filaments on it. They're not legs, although they look like legs. They're not legs. And in between each of the filament is a set of gills. That's how this animal breathes underwater. The Helgramite spends its time in the river, underneath rocks, in cracks and crevices. It makes them very difficult for the bass to get at and eat. However, if one becomes dislodged and starts floating down the river, they're sitting ducks for bass because Helgramites don't swim very well. This leads me to my first technique. It's what I like to call a split shot drift rig. I take a one out weedless hook, I rig the Helgramite weedless, about 18 inches above the Helgramite, I place a split shot and I spread three split shots out about six inches a piece. This will give me a very parabolic drift to it. I won't have a hard angle in my drift. It'll be very parabolic and very natural. Another rig I really like is the Nico rig. I'll put a, a lead weight in the nose of the Helgramite and I'll just take a regular like wacky style hook and I'll hook it towards the top of the abdomen. The head will stay on the bottom and I'll just let it drift and bounce head first on the bottom down the current. These are deadly techniques and very natural. No river bass is gonna resist this. Now, one of the coolest, coolest things ever. In the beginning of summer, an early morning thunderstorm will trigger a mass migration of these insects. They'll start crawling along the river bottom to get on shore. There they will complete their life cycle and it starts all over again. However, this is the most vulnerable time for predation for these insects. This is when I like to throw my Helgramite on a small Ned rig. And what I do now is I'm gonna quarter cast across the river. Let me show you. I'm gonna quarter cast across the river and I'm gonna let it bounce down the current, maintaining control, bouncing it down the current this is called swinging. I'll position myself, I'll walk downstream again, and I'll do it again on another part of the rock pile. You could cover a lot of river this way. It's absolutely deadly. And here, you could catch the biggest river bass of your lifetime doing this. And remember, you can pick up your yum Helgramites on LureNet.com.